Hello everybody. It's been a little bit and we've been busy, me and my husband, we that is. We've moved and now we're all settled in again and all those pesky holidays are over. So I'm back. And I know you missed me. It's true. Don't deny it. And um please let me know if the mic sounds funny. Um we had a complaint uh that the mic was making a buzzing sound. And it might just be because our apartment is new and we have uh, a heater that's very, very, very noisy. And our lights are noisy and pretty much everything in this damn apartment is noisy. So, forgive me if that's the case. Um, moving on, though. I was thinking about something, which is why I decided I would post this. Just to share my thoughts with people. Um, so... What I was thinking about was, um, when you join an organization, like a club, or a group, or whatever, you usually do so because you share things, um, you know, things in common with the group, like you like something that they're doing, or you like what how they're presenting themselves. Like, if you join PETA, you join because you're all for ethical treatments of animals. And if you join, you know, um, the SCA, you join because you want to, you know, dress up and have reenactments and things like that. And I noticed that never before in my life have I ever joined a group simply because I was something. Like, I've never joined a group because I'm a girl. I've never joined a group because I'm white, um, or because I'm 24, and yet, I did, and I do, join groups, especially online groups, because I'm a vampire, or because I'm another kin, and it just struck me as the strangest thing ever, and I'm not really sure how to word this, other than just that it seems to me that it's a very strange phenomena that generally applies to people who are on the fringes. Now when you think about it, there are, you know, groups um, that are, you know, pro-LGBT, um, or there are groups that are, you know, for alcoholics, or there are groups, you know, that are, that are for things that you are. Um, you know, there are national women's organizations, there are, um, things like that. But I've never really felt the urge to join any of those groups. You know, I'm, I have nothing wrong with them. I don't, I don't see anything necessarily wrong with them. It's just not really, I don't choose to join a group because of who I am. Or, I mean, rather, because of what I am. I choose to join a group because... I like something about that group. But it's not the case with other kin groups or vampire groups. I don't really share a lot in common with most of the people on other kin and vampire groups. And in fact, most of the people on other kin and vampire groups are people who are either new or there's a, a huge amount of trolls on some group. And if you don't know what a troll is, a troll is somebody who posts to a message board uh, either to A, simply cause agitation, or B, to um, disrupt, uh, you know, conversations, or to draw attention to themselves. There's a lot of different things you can do that would classify you as a troll. But there, there's a lot of them on other kin and vampire um, uh, forums. And it just seems to me that on these forums, we either talk about the same five or six things over and over and over and over again, or we talk about things that I could talk about with anyone, anywhere. Um, you know, what movies do you like? What books do you like? What music do you like? You, you don't need to be another kid for me to ask you about that. You know, you don't need to be a vampire for me to be interested in what you're interested in, you know? And it just, it strikes me as something odd. But I was thinking, you know, even a little bit deeper into it, and it just seems that if we tried to change that, if we tried to make 
more detailed conversation. Um, or we tried to change it up a little bit. Um, we'd be treading into some dangerous territory because I was thinking, you know, what would I be interested in? What would I want to talk about? That's not the same, you know, oh, what is an awakening? Oh, wh how do you know you're this? Or how do you know you're that? You know, how do you know you're another kin? You know, what, what else would I be interested in talking about? And I guess most of it is stuff that everyone sees differently. You know, like I'd be interested in, um, for example, uh, psychic work, um, healing, or shielding, or cyballs, psionics, um, mediumship, you know, uh, things like that. But that's not really something that, you know, is really otherkin specific. Um, there's a lot of energy workers out there who aren't other kin. There's, you know, Reiki practitioners, you know, who are following traditions passed down to them from their teachers and their teachers' teachers and so on, who have nothing to do with other kin. So it just it seems to me a silly thing. And I don't know if I really have anything else to say about that that's of interest, but it just it seems silly, <laughs> you know, just like it seems silly to join a group because I'm a girl or, you know, because I'm white. Yeah, it just, it seems unnecessary, I guess. And yet, I'm still drawn toward it. So if anybody has any thoughts about that, anything they want to share, you know, any insights, um, that'd be cool. <sighs> Bum... I think that's mostly all I want to talk about. Um, if you're curious as to what an otherkin is, um, and you just listen to this whole thing going, who? Huh? What? What the heck is she talking about? Then I'll give you a little heads up, and if not, you can just turn me off right now. That's fine. Um, an otherkin is a very complicated thing, because you'll, uh, you'll be hard-pressed to find more than three or four people who agree on what counts as another kin. But let's put it simplistically and straightforwardly as we possibly can. Another kin is an individual, okay, who has a human body and a human brain and a human mind who believes that there's something about them that makes them non-human. Most other kin will tell you if a person believes themselves to be genetically non-human then they're just a fool, and I tend to agree with that. Um, if you believe yourself to be genetically, biologically non-human, then in my book you just are either an attention seeker or a crazy person. However, if you think there's something about your soul, about your psyche, um, maybe it's a condition of your psychology, maybe it's a condition of uh, your soul simply not fitting into your body correctly, but there's something about you, maybe your reactions, or maybe even um, the fact that your past lives have imprinted themselves so firmly on your soul that you just don't feel human anymore. But there's something about you that is non-human. Um, I used to believe that only people who have non-human souls are other kin, non-human souls and human body our other kin. I'm not sure that I believe that anymore, but I'm not sure that I disbelieve that either. I, I know that it's the case for me personally, um, that there's something about my soul that is non-human. I get that. Um, we can talk about that later, because it's kind of detailed and it'll probably take up ten minutes all on its own. Um, but I used to believe that only non-human souled humans were other kin. But now I'm not so sure. So if you have any thoughts about that, um, share it with me. And, um, yeah. Any questions, comments, you know, I'd like to hear from you. Thanks. Bye.